Hello YouTubers and welcome to Mud Max Metal Detecting. Right, why have I got two detectors on this table to introduce my video? More about that at the end and I think it's worth sticking around to hear more about that at the end. But anyway, before then, let's have a look at what happened in the field when me and Damon went out. One of us got very, very lucky with one of these machines and one of us didn't do so well. Let's get stuck in. Well, I hope you can hear me. It's a lot windier today than they said it was going to be. Uh, but I've just had this up and it has definitely got writing on it. Uh, I think it must be some kind of early lead seal. When I say early, don't know how old or early. It looks to me like that splodge there maybe goes all the way through the middle. So one part rammed into the other. So yeah, some kind of lead bag tie. And that is writing on it. I have had a look through a spyglass and it is writing, but uh, yeah, very, very hard to make out. But yeah, little artifact, some kind of early stud seal, I think. Damon, what are you holding? A tiny little Roman. A tiny little Roman. Happy days. Let's get it on close up. Okay, here she is. As you can see, she does have a fresh scar. Funny enough, we were just talking about plastic trowels in the winter. Um, and yeah, that one's had a bit of a kiss from Damon's trowel, sadly. But as you can see, that side, to be honest, not a great deal on it. But on this side, definitely a standing figure. So thankfully, the side with the most detail is the side that escaped the trowel. But yep, yeah, it's a little Roman, one way or the other, who cares? A Roman is a Roman. We're on the board, and well done, Damon. Well, you can imagine what went through my mind when I saw it in the hole like that, at a distance. Oh dear. Nothing but a bit of rubbish. Oh well. Oh, I've just had this tiny little part effect. It's got a tiny little pin on this side, look. But you can see how small it is. It's an absolute wincy little piece. Definitely got a hole in the other end. Definitely got some patina. Little bar off of something, something probably quite old, but we'll probably never know. Aha, she's in the side wall. I've missed her slightly, but that's a coin, all right. That's definitely the first coin for me of the day. Right, let's pop it out and have a look. Well, it's 1938, and anybody who's watched the King's Speech or the Crown will know the significance of 1938. But sadly, somebody has thrown a mud pie at the king. Because, on this side, ugh. Yes, who threw that mud pie at the king? Arrest that man. That's kind of what it looks like, really. Just like somebody's thrown a big heap of mud and it's splattered him right in the old uh, kisser. What a shame, a bit of schmooze on the old coin. But yep, that's what it is, 1938. A very poignant year in our history indeed. Right, Damon's just had this up and it's definitely got writing on it. Now with the naked eye, that is very hard to see. I wonder how many people would have thrown that in the junk pouch just thinking it was just a sliver of metal. But it isn't, it's got writing on it. Um, possibly a flattened ring. There's nothing on the other side. But that is a very, very interesting little find. We're not sure of the age. Well, we're not sure very much at the moment. But Damon's going to give it a clean up. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can show you some nice stills of it when it's nice and clean. But, hmm, very interesting little find. Damon's walking towards me because he's got a gold ring. Look at that. You have got a gold ring. I don't think it's an old one. It's a, it's old it's a modern one, men's yeah. ring, but it's still... A gold ring. It's quite weighty as well. Yay! Yay. Gold oh, dance! Gold. Come on, gold yeah, dance! Yeah, Come on, yeah. you must gold dance! Yeah. Yes, gold yes! <laughs> yes, it's the detectorist. <laughs> right, let's have a close up after all that tomfoolery. Well, hey, gold! It is gold. It's smashed up, battered gold. But who cares? Because it's gold. And it may not be old gold in historical terms, but who cares? Because it's gold. So there you go, Damon has found a gold ring. It's mashed and bashed, but it's gold. Right, Damon, your task now is to find out what carrot it is, and then give me a still, and we'll let the boys and girls know. Fantastic. 
Right, just add this little fellow up. Yes. It's a two ring lead bullet and it's got a bit of a bash, look. I think this thing hit something or pazinged off the side of something. But that's a cool little artifact. You don't actually see that many of those. Certainly not in my parts. Who are misses? Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with that. That's a lovely lead bullet. Roman's walking over with an is it, isn't it, Roman. Oh, it's the right shape and it's the right look, but it's... Ooh. Let's do a close-up and let's have a look, mate. Not sure on that one, buddy. No, I'm not sure either. It's one of those, folks. It could be, it might not be. We don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking probably not. I'm thinking just a piece of something that looks suspiciously like. But it does appear to have possibly the remnants of something on it. That's a proper 50-50, that one. A proper 50-50. Well, I don't know what that is, but it's screaming old age at me. Um, as you can see, it's definitely shaped. It appears to be broken. Well, it is broken there. Possibly in the middle as well. I'm not 100% sure. That is old. Uh, I can tell. The patina, the feel of it, everything. But what it was once... Looks a bit like a can opener, doesn't it? Ye old can opener, yes. Yes, they always pop in cans, the old Romans, weren't they? I think not. <laughs> uh, a big smile there from Damon. Have you got yourself a Roman again? Tiny little one. Tiny little one? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Right, we'll have a close-up of Damon's tiny little one, and we won't spread that about. Okay, we're losing the light, but you can definitely see on there, there is definite detail on the Roman. Oh, yes. Very nice, Damon. Little figure standing, little smaller figure I believe that is next to it. Try and keep you in focus. The other side, not so brilliant. I think there's something on there. I think we're gonna have to let this dry out a bit. Uh, let it dry out and then we can really, well Damon can have a real good go at cleaning it. But it's definitely a Roman coin. And how many is that for you today? Definitely two, isn't it? And a gold ring. GM One Plus UK by the way. And uh, of course, your modern 10p. How could I be so stupid as to forget that? Honestly, it's been a day of treasures, old and new. Well, we're massively losing the light now, but if anybody has any ideas what that is, it's silver in colour and quite weighty, and it looks like it was moulded onto something. Um, I don't think it's actually silver, but whatever it is, yeah, very strange. Obviously broken off look. What on earth was the purpose of that? Okay, so there you go. What a fantastic day for Damon. Three Roman coins, a gold ring, and a lovely little artifact with some writing on it. Now, which of these two machines do you think he was using? Yeah, you've guessed it. He was using the £250 Golden Mask OnePlus UK, and he had all those lovely finds. And I was using the £1,400 XP Deus, and I blanked. Now, I'm not comparing these two machines, not for a second. And I'm not saying that one is better than the other. The point I'm trying to make here is if you haven't got a lot of money and you're on a budget, don't let it put you off and don't let it make you think that you're at some kind of loss to people with the posh machines. There are obviously certain features in the posh machines, there's certain design elements that are quite desirable, but they're not the be all and end all. If you choose wisely on a budget and you get the right machine for your conditions, you can have a fantastic time in this hobby. This machine on, on land, I think this machine is absolutely fantastic. I love using it quite a lot of the time. I give Damon my deus and I run with this.
because I really, really love using it. It's simple, two tones, beep, dig, no screens, nothing to put you off, fast detecting, get a beep, get it out. And I love that about this machine and it really does perform well. Well, you've just seen it in the video, so I don't really need to explain any more, do I? But the point that I'm trying to make is if you're on a budget, don't always think that you're at some kind of a loss. If you get a good machine at a budget price, you can find a lot of great stuff and really enjoy this hobby. It's not all about having a posh detector. They are nice, but they're not the be all and end all of the hobby. Okay, so on that note, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you soon.